And your name? Flora Reese. And Miss Reese, it looks like you're a heavy Newt fan. Yes, I'm a Newt groupie. How long have you been supporting Newt? Uh, 2010 when he helped us fight the health care bill. Let me ask you a question. Do you think Newt supporters, regardless of what the results are in the Florida primary, will fight to support him getting the nomination? Yes, we will go forward. We will take this all the way to the Tampa Convention. We are convinced he is the man for this time. In your group of friends, is anyone concerned that maybe the media and the establishment of the Republican Party is trying to, say, give Mitt Romney as the nominee with a kind of like a dose of castor oil, take it or leave it type attitude? We're concerned about that, but we're afraid it might back backfire on them because this happened with the Republican establishment in uh, 2008 with John McCain. No one wanted him. It, he was a stinky candidate. We held our nose. And when he picked Sarah Palin, we said, okay, maybe he can win. This time, I can tell you, I've talked to many of my constituents that support Newt, and they know Romney cannot win because he looks too much like Obama. And as a matter of fact, we call him Old Romney. He's just a twin version of Obama. You know, that brings me to my next question. Last year, Ann Coulter, on February 12th of 2011 at CPAC convention, had been asked a question about the 2012, and she made the statement that if we don't run Christie, Romney will be our nominee and he'll lose. I saw that interview and she refutes it now. I've never been an Ann Coulter follower because mm -hmm. I can't figure out what she bases her opinions on. Well, let me ask you this. <laughs> What a lot of people and a lot of media outlets have ignored is the last statement of Ann Coulter at the CPAC convention where she says, I warned you about Kane. How's that moderate working? So my question is, I know Speaker Gingrich said over the last couple of days that Republican conservatives are not going to accept a moderate shove down their throat. We will not. Why do you think the establishment and all of these so-called conservative pundits and commentators are doing the same thing? I think they're doing this because they, they have a deal with Romney. And if he gets to the White House, they can still control and get their money and get their deals and take their under-the-table contracts. And the people have had enough of this. This is about the people. It is not about them. Aren't they rich enough? Can I ask you one more question? A lot of uh, Republican members of Congress that worked in the Congress when Newt was the Speaker of the House have come out adamantly against his candidacy. Yet, when you take the time to look back at his record in the House, Newt actually managed to get the Republican Party to do their job for four years. Whereas no other Republican leader in the House or the Congress since then has seemed to have been able to get people's butts out of the chair and have them do the job they were elected to do. Right. Do you think that that could also be a reason why these Republican members of the House and the Senate are opposing Gingrich because they're scared they're going to have to get up and do their job or leave? I agree with you. Not only are they afraid that they're going to have to do their job, but Newt will cut out all this this port barrel spending, all of the things that they take back to their states, that can't be anymore. We've got to trim the budget. They know it, and they don't want Newt in there because he will put the knife, he will sliver off everything that is not a necessity, and this is what we need. Do you think the media has been fair with Mr. Gingrich's campaign to this point? No. I'm, I'm disappointed in Fox. Uh, the only person I watch on Fox now is Hannity. I'm even disappointed in Rush Limbaugh. I can't understand why they're promoting Romney. You you put the facts out there and you let us, the people, decide. Don't ram a candidate down our throat. So would you say that Fox in the 2012 uh, Republican primary has become the MSNBC, so to speak, of the Rom of the GOP as far as shoving Romney as opposed to like I MSNBC did uh, President Obama back in 08. They're getting close to the line. It's very disappointing that you have a, supposedly a conservative cable news station and they're showing biases just like the other CNN or MSNBC. And, you know, we've... We're thinking about not even watching them anymore because 
we understand what's going on we know it's about money and now at a critical time in this country it needs to be about the country and the people and you said it's about money that's a, a distinction that former Speaker Gingrich is going to have to face regardless of what the results are tonight. Are you guys going to continue to push and try to raise money to support his candidacy? Are you going to continue to try to help organize in other states for these caucuses that are coming up? Yes, I plan to go the distance. We are not quitters. We strongly believe if we don't get Gingrich this time, this country goes over the cliff. Because whether you have Obama or Romney, it's not going to get corrected. And we need a corrective measures that only Newt can institute. He's done it, he's a statesman, he can keep us safe, he can build our economy, and we've got to have that. This is a critical time in the, in the United States. Have you or any of the people that you've talked to during this primary season yet, um, are you kind of wondering basically what it is with everybody saying that Mitt Romney is supposedly the only one that can beat Obama? I uh, spoke to some people today who said that they actually voted for Gingrich this morning for one reason, and they said he's the only one in their opinion that will take the fight and can beat Obama. Is that you guys' opinion? Do you believe that Gingrich is the only candidate in the field right now that can actually beat Obama? We believe that because if you look at the new word they're slinging out there, it's sort of like this hope change thing. I could never get anyone to tell me what the change was going to be. Now I see it's a disaster. Now they've got this word, electability. There's no facts to back it up. There's no data to back it up because you can't back that up until after you finish the Republican primary. So with the record that Newt has, he is the only candidate that can beat Barack Obama. He's so far different than Obama that that's the key. That's what it's going to take. Because if you put another person next to Obama, like Romney, they're going to say, well, we might as well stick with Obama. And that's the fallacy. And that's what the news media is hiding. That's what the bias is, a bias is in Fox and all these other stations. And they're going to hurt the country by trying to ram this moderate, independent rhino down our throat. Do you think you guys will come together regardless of who the nominee is? And I'm asking this question because I've listened to the speaker speak, I've listened to other people, and there seems to be a real serious uh, question, at least here in Central Florida anyway, as whether or not the Republican Party will even come together in November if it is a Romney nomination. Now, I'm in the minority on this, mm -hmm. and I realize that, but it's a growing minority that could possibly become a majority. I do not believe that the majority of the, the conservative Republicans will be behind Romney because we feel like time has come that the Republican establishment needs to learn their lesson. If they put this guy as a Republican nominee, they're going to have to live with the laws. And we're not going to bail them out this time like we've done in 1996 and 2008. We tried to bail them out no more. Sounds like you are have the opinion, like so many others I've talked to, that say that depending on what happens in 2012, this might actually be the new birth of the new Republican Party. You know what? You hit a nerve. As a matter of fact, I was talking to uh, about 5,000 friends on my Facebook, and we're talking about a new party that involves the conservatives, the Tea Party, uh, Christians and just pull away from the Republican Party. As a matter of fact, I had one of my Spanish friends uh, send me a message and he said, Flora, you know, we've, he, he's been asking me about Romney and Gingrich and I finally convinced him to vote for Gingrich. And he said, I'm gonna vote for Gingrich, but after this, I'm getting out of the party or I'm going independent or we need a new party. Thank you so much, Flora. Thank you.